We're going to make a nice vegetarian pasta dish. All these beautiful ingredients here. Pignoli nuts, sweet baby peppers, fresh basil, onion, fresh vine ripe tomatoes, garlic cloves, and bow tie pasta. This recipe is for making a shaping dish because you're having a party and cremini mushrooms. All these items will be blended together for a very nice... Mm, I'm figuring this is a half shaping dish. I'm figuring by the time everything is put together, this should be full with a little leftover. And we're using, to season it, my favorite sriracha hot chili sauce. The most difficult part of this recipe is just slicing everything, getting it all ready. The water is boiling right over here for the pasta, and that's going to be timed just right. So when the pasta is cooked, the sauce, which I'm calling all of this the sauce for the pasta, is ready at the same time because we do not want to wash off the pasta. And we'll be using olive oil. This is my virgin olive oil little squirt bottle. So let me cut everything up and then we'll get started. I'm going to put two tablespoons of rock salt into the water. And <clears throat> you have to taste the water, like I say and show on my video for cooking pasta, that it has to have a slight, you have to be able to taste the salt in the water. Because the pasta itself has to taste good without any other in ingredients added to it. And so when we saute all of this we will season that also. Then when you put it together nothing will be drawing the flavor out of something else. It will just come together and be very tasty. Now if you can or else do this earlier while you're cutting up the vegetables you have to toast the pignoli nuts. So just a couple of drops of oil, not much. And you're going to stir this and you're going to get a light brown and then you put it off to the side until later. Just remember, watch it because before you know it, all of a sudden they're brown and then they're going to burn on you. So when doing the uh, basil, you can just take the basil leaves and chop them up. But a nice way to do it is to lay the leaves flat into each other. Roll this over and you have chinois. Then you take your knife and you just... So do the over that to the uh, basil and then we'll just fold it in at the end. It's going to be a lot of basil in there. I love basil. And meanwhile, you see the uh, pignoli nuts are toasted and I'm going to shut the flame off for the simple reason they'll keep on cooking in that hot oil. Oh, I see one black piece. We'll leave it just like that. It'll stop cooking and we have toasted it to off with a moderate flame. Well, that's kind of high. I'll put some olive oil in there. You can use regular olive oil or virgin, whatever you have. Or use, or use a mix of butter and olive oil. Now, I'm not looking for color on this. So we can just put everything in there. 
<coughs> the onions, I made julienne fine, but first I cut the onion in half so I have small, long pieces. Why? I want them to cling and wrap around the bow tie pasta. Same reason why the mushrooms are sliced and not quartered or diced. They too will cling to the bow tie pasta better with this type of cut. And the garlic, my favorite way of doing it of course is chunks so I can get a bite in my mouth of a chunk of garlic. So we'll saute this. When this is finished, we got to time this just right. Towards the end of this, I'm going to have to cook the pasta. Now these mushrooms don't give off as much water as those white button mushrooms do. So it's up to you which mushroom you want to use. And now we have the salt and pepper mix that I make. Easy. Put the amount of pepper you want into your salt. Taste it if you like it. Then you use that for your seasoning. Just sprinkle that the <laughs> leisurely. So as you see this flame cooking this way. And notice the mushrooms are not giving off much liquid. In a way, that's why I like these when you saute. The white ones will tend to give you more of a boiling process than a saute. Anyway, that takes care of that. And there's sriracha, the hot sauce. I'm not going to put that in now. I'm going to put that in at the end. And this doesn't have to be overcooked. Now I'm looking at the amount, the volume, so far. And that's going to shrink a little. I'm going to add the tomatoes, which I diced up. And I don't want them disintegrated. So the tomatoes will be done at the very end of this process here. And the peppers also. I want to see the peppers and have them just a little al dente. So we'll raise the pot of water. Get that water boiling up again. So far so good. Boy, this is a nice mix. You can put this on anything. And I'm not using any wine in this recipe this time. Even though I love wine. Okay, we're almost there, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the pasta going. The pasta can be drained and just sit in the colander, still hot. So as you see, this is relatively, well I shouldn't say it's simple, but once you have everything cut up, see how nice this is going to look in the pasta? And then we toss in that fresh basil. At the very end, I will be pouring the pasta into this pot, mixing it up, add the pignoli nuts, and we're done. Now the pasta is going in the water. <clears throat> and as I cut everything off, you get a, a better feel of the, the volume that it's making, like the tomatoes. I had four large tomatoes on the board, and after I diced up just two tomatoes, this is what I came with. So that's half the amount, and you know what? This is plenty for what we have. So I adjusted the amount of tomatoes on the recipe 
And now I can add to this the peppers and the tomato. The peppers I didn't julienne, I gave large chunks just so they're more visible. And they're there for a little flavor. Well, you could put your green peppers in there if you want. I like the multicolor this time for this. Now we'll lower the flame a little. If you notice, there's no liquid there. It's being sauteed, it's reducing, and it's dirtying my pan over here. But that always happens. And the bow tie pasta never sticks together, so you don't have to worry too much about stirring it. One good stir, and that's it. Now the tomatoes. No, I'm not making a tomato sauce. I want these pieces of tomato very hot and not mushy. Now we're going to taste this. And then we're going to season this. Be ready for the pasta. Mmm. What's better than mushrooms, onions, and garlic, and tomatoes? A little more salt to bring out the flavor. You don't want to use salt? Well, do it this time because this is for someone else to eat. And some more olive oil because we're going to mix the pasta in there. And this Hirachi sauce. Give it a couple of uh, lines. Gotta be careful, other people will be eating this, not just me. If it was me, I would have added more. This mix is done. Just another little taste. Taste the hot sauce, but just a little more salt. Great. I'll shut this down. The pasta is just about ready. So that was fairly simple. And we'll see how much we how much we fill up that uh, half a shaving dish. Okay. Let me just cut the, the film right now. I'll wait for the pasta then. And the pasta is just about ready. Remember, see all that water? Plenty of water and a small amount of pasta. It's never starchy that way. And you want to taste it. You want it al dente. Every time you buy one of those shaving dishes from an Italian deli, you'll notice that the pasta is always very soft because it absorbs whatever it's mixed with. That's al dente, so we shut it off, and we're gonna drain it, and no washing. Pasta, not washed, and I think I made the right amount. Put some big pignola nuts in there so they get a nice mix. And the basil. <coughs> well, let's 
see how this is going to work out. So now you put this in the refrigerator and to tomorrow for your party or if you're going to someone's house and you have everybody has to bring a dish hey, you have a nice vegetarian dish here oh if you want to add sausage little baby meatballs to this shrimp lobster a million and one things you can do and you can change this around use a different pasta but look at this the ratio of pasta to the rest of the ingredients worked out just right you see plenty of everything in there now we're going to pour it into the pan and if I'm lucky it's just going to fill it just right <coughs> Put the pan right here. Get ready. Are you guessing it's going to make it? I'm guessing it's going to be the exact amount. Now for real, I never made this before. Most of my recipes are like on the fly. I see ingredients and I say, let me put them together. <coughs> and that is the exact amount when you cover this. That's pretty. Let me taste. Very nice, except when I take a little bit for myself, I'm going to put some more hot sauce over it. And there you go, another nice pasta dish. <laughs>